Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the Godo chapter on my stamina warden with a classic one reaction setup with Magbar running cry, you know it gives a ton of crit resistance, allows us to use traits like well fitted, reinforced, sturdy without losing any crit resistance so any tankiness front bar the masters do it which empowers rending slashes like crazy with dragon's appetite no mythic item instead combined with balog for a ton of penetration and weapons bear damage pretty basic setup nothing too crazy what makes this build so special is healing contingency especially the warden class script is completely broken create an 8 meter area for 2 seconds under your target once every 8 seconds 8 seconds cooldown that snares your opponents by 70% and charm stem for 3 seconds so even a stun on top. Charm is basically the same stun as on the Arcanist skill a duration and if you don't hit enemy targets you even restore 1.4k magic and stamina back. Super broken class script here. As focus script I prefer the healing morph. Heats are crazy around 5 to 8 or even 9k plus. Really strong burst here. And as epic script the best shot is probably the minor force one since we already have our class based snare removable with bird of prey so race against time is not needed means we would lose usually minor force on basically every warden build really, really strong 10 percent crit damage armor taps one heavy chest two light and four medium with five well fitted one sturdy and one reinforced chest full prismatic glyphs obviously like always best in slot here full infused on jewelry one prismatic recovery glyph needed the rest weapon spell damage front bar two mazes learn sharp flame poison chant for extra penetration here and back bar I've decided to use sword and board defending sturdy with the escape is poison instead of an ice staff since i don't use a decides in this case i prefer sword and board so like this we can even use spell wall which is super super strong as defense ultimate especially in open world pvp against all those projectile spammers quick look on the skills growing swarm as powerful dot also applies mana wound five percent more damage did some tests with quick look for major evasion also possible we give you more tankiness obviously with 20 percent AOE damage reduction then deep fissure Running slash is needed with the masters do it. Also snares by 30% with the class script and running slashes you would have 100% snare your opponent plus Northhorn Storm as ultimate which also reduces the movement speed by another 40%. So 140% snare enjoy playing against the warden with this setup here. Bird of Prey, my snow booboo, also slotted minor berserk and for major expedition, contingency obviously, northern storm like I said, also gives major protection, 10% damage reduction and even a ton of weapon and spare damage on top, backbar lotus blossom, for major savagery and prophecy to 12% crit rate, bull Nedge, vigor, ice fortress, polar wind still as burst here and spare wall as defense ultimate. You can also swap contingency with bull Nedge. So like this you would have 4% more crit damage on your damage bar with advanced species. I prefer it on the bank bar simply because I'm using it since Warden release I got used to it. Ray Stamma for weapon spell damage, flame resistance, magic and stamina. If you need more tankiness go with Nord or Imperial for cost reduction. Orc should be also possible here. Mundus the Atonach, kind of weird on the stamina ward and I know, but we have a ton of magic abilities to sustain, even more than stamina abilities, smoke bear and just buff food, bam stage 3, still for the undeath passive, even if they nerfed it from 30 to 15%, Still worth to use, sustain is usually not a big issue on the warden, so take the extra tankiness here. Add 2 points, 39 into health, the rest is stamina, with minor toughness we are at around 32k HP, pretty low on the warden, but should be enough. Potion, the tricep potion, NCPs, buff of strikes, steady aim, do this rebuff and ironclad, since then suffering pains if you slippery and celebrity, same as usual here. Rotation, first of all pre-buff yourself with Lotus Blossom, Ice Fortress, Bull Nedge, Vigor and Polar Wind. Apply Growing Swarm, Northern Storm, Deep Fissure, Contingency into Randy Snail Spam. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.